using cathode oscilloscope. This is the front part of a cathode oscilloscope. So you can see that. So we have a screen here. And then there's a power switch. This is to switch it on and off. Okay. And then we have this intense. Intense means intensity. This is to control brightness. Uh, this is to focus. Then we have this uh, X pose. X pose means X positions. And Y pose means Y positions. Uh, X pose, Y pose. And then we have this time base. Uh, time base here. Uh, this is the Y gain control. I'll explain to you what's the functions of this. Eh? Okay, so now for this oscilloscope, we have two uh, Y gain control. Okay, and this is the input. Yeah, this is the input. And then uh, this is AC, DC. Yeah? Okay, AC, DC uh, control. Okay, so that's what you need to know. Eh? Okay, that's what you need to know. For others like this, uh, this uh, TV, okay, uh, this is not important. Now let's discuss one by one eh, what's the functions of all this button. Okay, the first one is the power switch. As I told you just now, is to switch it on and off. Okay, and then we have this um, focus. Okay, focus. Eh? So this is to to focus a spot on the screen eh, to have a a small small and bright spot. If you do not focus, then you will get a big spot. Eh? Okay, so we need to have uh, small spots on the screen. Uh, then we have this intensity, okay, intensity control. This is controlled by the control grid, as I told you just now, right? Okay, the control grid control the amount of electrons, uh, and hence control the brightness. So this one is to adjust the uh, the voltage of the control grid, uh, okay, and hence control the brightness. Okay, now these two, okay, x positions or y position, or we call it x offset and y offset, uh, okay. So this X offset and Y offset is to move the bright spot, okay, or to move the this uh, cathode ray uh, up, down, or left, right, okay. For example, sir, for example, if you switch on, uh, you switch on a cathode ray oscilloscope, eh, okay, then you found that the bright spot is uh, here, somewhere around here. Good, okay. Let's use the red. So you switch on, eh. You switch on, you do not plug in anything, okay? You do not have any input, and uh, you switch off the time base, uh, you switch off the time base, and then uh, this one, no input. Uh, and then you found that uh, the bright spot is here, okay? The bright, bright spot is here. You don't want it to be here, okay? You don't like it to be here, okay? And uh, you prefer to have this bright spot at the center, okay. Uh, then you can use the X positions or X offset to move it. So you can use it to move it. You can move it uh, up to this point, okay. You use the X positions to move it. And after that, so you want to move it down, then you can use the Y positions or Y offset to move it downwards. So we use the Y offset to move it to the center, okay. That's the functions of the uh, X positions or Y position or X offset, Y offset. It moves the, it can move the display, left, right, up, down. Okay, not only the spot. Okay, sometimes let's say you get a sinusoidal uh, graph, you get something like this. Okay, you get something like this. Your displays is something like this uh, because uh, some sometimes you can get this a uh, sinusoidal graph. Eh? Okay, so let's say this is what you get, okay, and you don't like it to be here. You want to move it down to the center, so then you can use the Y offset, eh? the Y offsets to move it down. So you can use the Y position, the Y offset to move it down, okay. You can even move this to uh, left, right. Eh? So that's the functions of the X offset and Y offset, eh? okay. So it's for you to move the displays up, down, left, right. Next one, here comes the most important part, okay? The most important components or most important part of the uh, this oscilloscope, okay? The time-based control, yeah? The time-based control. Now, the time-based control, it controls the voltage of the X-plate. It controls the voltage of the X-plate. Eh? And just now we learned that the X-plate moves the cathode ray left, right, left, right, right, okay? When you switch on the time base, uh, okay, so the time base will give uh, this uh, sawtooth voltage to the X plate. So the voltage will increase. Uh, so the voltage will increase from uh, zero, 
from zero, let's say to uh, two volt. Okay, after that, immediately, yeah, okay, in a very short time, it dropped to uh, negative two volt, and it increase again to two volt, and then drop to negative two volt. The reason we do this is to move, is to move the bright spot from left to right. Okay, so if you increase the voltage, yeah, it will move uh, slowly because you see the voltage increase slowly, right? So if you increase the voltage slowly, uh, then the bright spot, eh, the bright spot, it will, uh, let's say it start from zero, okay? The bright spot, it will move, uh, move from the center to the right. And then so at this point, suddenly the voltage dropped to negative, eh, negative two volts. So the bright spot, it will uh, jump back. In a very short time, you can't see, okay? It will jump back to uh, this point, okay? And then the voltage increase again. So then uh, the bright spot, it will slowly move from left to right, okay? Then uh, the voltage drop, then it will jump back, and then uh, it will start again, move from left to right. The functions of the time base is to move the cathode rays from left to right. It will move left to right, jump back, left to right, jump back, left to right, okay? So, so that is the that is the function. So this makes the electron beam sweep across the screen at a constant speed. Eh? Okay, and then what is this? Okay, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Okay, seconds. Okay, 50 milliseconds, 20 milliseconds, 10 milliseconds. Okay, uh, you see time per division. This is to control how fast the spot, okay, or the cathode ray move from left to right. You see, this is a pointer, okay? This is a pointer. This pointer, when this pointer point to 0 0.2, 0.2 seconds, it means that it will make this spot uh, to take uh, 0 0.2 seconds. From this point, move to this point. Eh? From this point, move to this point, eh? it will take 0 0.2 seconds, okay? 0 0.2 seconds. Eh? So it means that the time taken eh, is 0 0.2 seconds. Here also 0 0.2 seconds. Here also 0 0.2 seconds. Uh, so we use this to control the speed, uh, the spot move from left to right. So from here, 0 0.2 seconds, 0 0.2 seconds, 0 0.2 seconds, it will move slowly. But if you uh, use this one, okay, 50 milliseconds, uh, then it will move, move very fast. Eh? It move very fast. Sometimes you can't even see it moving. You can only see a straight line. Okay, because it moves too fast, uh, you cannot see the motion. You can only see a straight line. Eh? So that is the functions of the time base. Eh? Okay, first it moved the... Uh, cathode ray from left to right okay and second you can control how fast the the movement if we control how fast the movement then we can use it to measure okay to measure uh the, maybe the frequency yeah? okay the frequency of the current eh? usually is to measure the frequencies of the alternating currents so that's the time base eh? the functions of the time base okay the next one is the uh, y gain control yeah y gain control okay so this is how many volts per division. Eh? Now the Y gain control, it control um, how many volt or milli volt eh, per division. Per division means one box here, okay? Now for example, this one you see it point to five, right? Yeah, this one it point to five. If it point to five means that uh, this is volt per division, uh, DIV means division. So, so each division is five volt. Eh? So uh, this is, uh, let's say this is zero. 0 volt, then this will be 5 volt, 10 volt, 15 volt, 20. Okay, then this will be negative 5, negative 10, negative 15, and negative 20. Okay, if this is this one point to uh, 5. Okay, now if the input is this one, okay, and this one point to 0 0.2, right? If this point to 0 0.2, then the, the y gain, the y gain is the y axis. Eh? The y gain will be 0 0.2, uh, okay, because you see here, this is 0 0.2, right? It point to uh, 0 0.2, uh, okay? So then this will be, uh, this 0, this is 0 0.2 volt, 0 0.4 volt, 0 0.6 volt, 0 0.8 volt. This negative 0 0.2, negative 0 0.4, negative 0 0.6, and negative 0 0.8. So the y gain control, it control the scale of the vertical axis, uh, okay? So how many wood in one box or how many wood in one divisions? The horizontal axis is controlled by the time base. Okay, how many seconds in one box? Okay, like a 0 0.2 second in one box or the 
0.005 second in one box. Uh, it is controlled by the time base. Uh, the vertical axis is controlled by the Y gain, uh, the Y gain control. Okay, so that is the functions of the Y gain control. So you control the words per division. Uh. Uh, some other things that you need to know is uh, okay, this one a uh, DC AC switch. Okay, so if you switch to DC, then it can measure DC and AC voltage. Uh. But if you switch to AC, then it can only measure AC. It cannot measure DC. That's all eh, that you need to know. You don't need to know the others, like the, what is this add, okay, what is dual, okay? That's not important. Okay, now, and then we have this uh, X input, Y input, eh? X input, Y input. Usually, the X input uh, is the time base. The time base moves the cathode ray from left to right, right, okay? So usually, the, the X input is the time base. So if, if you switch on the time base, then it will be the X input. Eh? But if you don't want it to be the X input, then you can have your own X input here. Uh, then you have Y input. Uh, for this oscilloscope, you can you have two Y input. Eh? Just plug this to the source of electricity. Uh, then you can, you can measure the, the current and the voltage of the electricity. Okay? So usually, the X input is the time base. You must remember this eh, because uh, this can be asked in an exam. Eh? Okay? Uh, the X input is a time base usually.